What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another iOS 12 update video. This is an important one for you guys. We're going to be talking about preparing for the iOS 12 jailbreak and something that you should do and I highly recommend you do do this. Uh, but before we get into the details, um, I do want to mention here a couple of things. Uh, on Twitter, um, Pona Own has updated his bio from um, uncovering iOS 12 almost done and he has changed it to jailbroken iOS 11 and iOS 12. So the jailbreak is going to be coming very, very soon. There's literally just testing going on at this point testing to get it prepared for the public beta. So that is super exciting news. So let's go ahead and jump into Reddit as well. I did want to cover this because it was something that I was curious about, and that is if there's going to be A12 support, being that I do have the 10s Max. I'm just really hoping that the initial release of this jailbreak, whenever it comes out, does support the newer devices. So the A12, which would be the 10s, the 10s Max, and the 10R. Uh, really, the only ones that know if it's going to support it or not when it's first initially released here is going to be Pwn to Own and the developers that are helping out with this jailbreak. But we're coming to this post, which I covered a couple of days ago, uh, which was the teaser by Sam G as Ninja uh, on Reddit. And uh, I scrolled down here. I just wanted to get some information about devices and whatnot. And I seen this comment right here. Uh, I know you aren't testing on A12 until everything is confirmed running smooth on pre-A12 de devices, but has anyone actually checked if this just runs on an iPhone XS? Um, and if you read on it, um, Sam G says that they haven't tested it on A12 or anything like that, but if you go further down here, uh, as you can see, another one of the developers of the Uncovered Jailbreak, uh, S. Bingner, uh, he is another developer. If you guys would open up the uh, Uncovered Jailbreak utility, you would know that his name is also within the list of Pona Own and also uh, Sam G is a ninja. And as you can see, Pona Own says right here, uh, S. Bingner does have multiple A12 devices. And then he replied to that comment, of course I do. And then Sam G said, rich boy Sammy. So uh, it is confirmed that it is being tested with A12, but like I said, whether that is going to support on the first public the first public beta release of Uncover is unknown at this point. I just really hope it is because as soon as this jailbreak comes out, I would really love to be able to jailbreak my 10s Max. Uh, but anyways, getting into the main part of this video, and that is preparing for this jailbreak. If you guys are running the rootless jailbreak, uh, from what I've heard, there is a way to remove that jailbreak. And I've also heard that once Uncover comes out, it should rewrite or overwrite whatever um, the rootless jailbreak has done. So if you guys are rocking the rootless jailbreak, uh, like I said, from what I've heard, the Uncover jailbreak should overwrite it. Uh, I will have more details about that once we get closer to um, the actual jailbreak being released or when it's being released, I'll investigate that. But from what I understand, it'll overwrite the rootless jailbreak. Uh, one thing I would recommend is to obviously at least delete the rootless jailbreak utility off your device before you use uncover. But I'll have more details in that about that in a, in a newer video, uh, coming whenever the jailbreak does come out. But one thing I do want to mention here in this video, and this is incredibly important for all of you. So if you guys are looking to jailbreak, this part is super, super important for the uncovered jailbreak. So you need to remove the OTA update out of your device before you do this jailbreak. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So like I said, if you have the OTA update in your device, it'll show software update. And then as you can see, my device wants me to install 12.1.4. We need to remove this before we do the jailbreak. Uh, now, if you guys remove it right now after this video, it could reappear and re-download before the jailbreak does come out. So I will mention this in the jailbreak tutorial when that part comes. Uh, but like I said, we need to remove this update. The way you're going to do this is go into general, go to iPhone storage, let this load up. And if you scroll down here, you will see the update available from 
uh, your storage. We need to delete this update. So just click on it and then click on delete update, delete update. So now it has been removed out of my device. The next thing I'm going to do is block these OTA updates. I'm going to block it from coming into my device. Of course, if this is something you do, just make sure right before you jailbreak that you check to make sure that that update is not in your storage. And if it is, like I said, delete it. But we're going to attempt to block the updates as well. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to install the tvOS profile. Uh, we're going to be using the FTOS application. I covered that in its own video. I'll leave the video link on how to get FTOS down in the description. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and launch it. And then from here, we're going to go to the firmware section or the firmware tab on the bottom. Just go ahead and click on that. And then as you can see right here at the top, block iOS update. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then this is going to install the tvOS profile onto my device, which will block OTA updates from coming into my settings. So we'll click on install. We'll click on allow. We're going to set up a profile. As you can see, there it is, TV. OS 12 beta software profile, click on install in the upper right, go ahead and put your passcode in. If you have one set up, click install on the top, install on the bottom. And now we will have to perform a restart on our device. So we're going to click on restart and our device will boot back up. We'll have this profile installed and it should block any OTA updates from coming into the settings application uh, from, from this point forward. Um, like I said, once that jailbreak comes out, once I uh, uncover for iOS 12 comes out, I would still verify that there is no update in your settings because it can cause major issues with the jailbreak. It could cause you to go into a boot loop, which would force you into updating to a newer version of iOS. As of the making of this video, from what I'm aware of, iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 is still being signed, so you're somewhat safe right now, but as soon as that firmware is no longer being signed, uh, you will not be able to get on a jailbreakable firmware unless you have blobs saved. Uh, so keep that in mind. You don't want to get stuck into a boot loop. So like I said, go into your settings, go into general, go into iPhone storage, and make sure that that update is not within uh, this section anywhere. If it is, delete it and install that profile like I just showed you guys how to do. And as you can see, there is no update here anymore. It was a, about this size, so it is not in my settings anymore. Uh, we do have that the uh, profile set up. If we go into general and go to software update again, uh, as you can see, iOS 12.0, which is the firmware I'm on, your software is up to date. So my device right now is ready to be jailbroken on Uncover for iOS 12. So this is a major um, thing to keep in mind, guys. Make sure that that is not in there. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.